Hop in. Yeah, I mean, because I think event should be pro second to last, and then we'll do fight of the year last. Uh, so, chin of the year, we got Anthony Smith getting his teeth literally knocked out of his head against Glover Teixeira. Now, granted, I want everyone to know, when we say chin of the year, they don't have to win the fight to have the chin. They need to survive the fight, or at least literally eat shots that no other human should be able to eat. That yeah. is what determines your chin. It's not a heart, it's chin. Like, it's how much you can eat. Uh, <laughs> Dan Hooker versus Dustin Poirier. Uh, Dan Hooker being the nomination there. Yeah. Hooker eight brutal shots. Uh, Shane Burgos versus Josh Emmett. Yeah, uh, which will have a that both those last two fights I just said you have a place in fight of the year talks as well. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, Shane Burgos. Shane Burgos chin's gross. Uh, Sarah Alpar, um, which if anyone can remember her face, that poor girl three weeks before a wedding, and uh, Hel- Heli Alatang who uh, ate the nastiest amount of body kicks either me or Dominic oh, he, ever he, seen he's the fight. guy that fought for Zeev. He's the dude that got body kicked literally 70 times. And, and yeah. So, so Chin, yeah. a.k.a. Ribs, I feel you. We can lump yeah. that in. Because that was nuts. Like, the fact that he didn't drop. Um, yeah, so we'll start with Alatang, I guess. That's a good guy to lead in on. Because I don't think either of us have him winning necessarily. But, no, like, his but, toughness is insanity. Yeah, and if there was, like, a, a separate category for ability to like ribs. body shots, <laughs> yeah, like, he would win. He would win. So, like, honorable mention there. I'm glad you included him. Um, what's the next name? Uh, Sarah Alpar. Sarah Alpar. So, if we were, like, interpreting Chin as, like, like not so much, like, impact Chin, but just, like, slice Chin, like, like blood <laughs> – Ability like, to keep fighting through, like, inordinate amounts of damage. Yeah, damage. Exactly. Because, cause see, some may interpret Chin as, like, you can get hit and the damage doesn't, like, show up. Um, and, and like, kind of kind of a Nate Diaz without the cuts. Yeah, or, like, or like honestly, like, Burgos. Like, I, I, Burgos like, is a great example. Like, it's just, like, issue in, oh, God. Like, like, what's more valuable? Like, the tank that gets shot and the, the, they don't go through – or the tank that it can go through, but it still rolls even after it keeps getting shot. Like I, w- like, I will say, out of all these candidates, Smith's the only guy that fights at 205. No one else is above 155 for the true. weight class. That, that can factor in. That can factor in. Um, so, yeah, uh, so we had Alpar, right? That was Alpar's face. That was just an absolute bloody. They literally looked like a horror movie. Like, looked like she got attacked by a fucking puma. Shout um, out Oklahoma. Sarah Alpar. Sarah Oklahoma Alpar, fighter. yeah. Not a great category for it, but, you know. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And then who's next? Uh, you got Anthony Smith versus Glover Teixeira is up there. He says the largest man, and he literally had teeth falling out of his face and kept fighting, which some can interpret that as chin or, like, that's almost fringing into, like, Tony Ferguson's psycho territory more so than Yeah, shit. like, that, you know that, that, hurts, that hurts my face when I hear that, like, his teeth are getting knocked out. Like, my whole face is actually, like, I think – what do you think – I what do you think harder to watch, that or the Alpar fight? Oh, dude. I think that, for me personally, because I've had Al- dental injuries before, so I could, like, relate. Like, I, I could, like – like, if you've seen something done that's happened to you, like, it, like, hits differently. So, I think – I think I'm going to – I'm going to lean um, – I'm going to lean – uh, Anthony Smith, just as far as like tough to watch, and like, but I also I, remember I was eating red meat during the Alpar fight, and oh, I kind of had to like stop, like, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. wow, because there was so much blood. Yeah, so it dude, was, the like, Alpar fight I couldn't watch twice because it was so hard for me to watch, like, because I just thought it because I've I've been hitting my nose and like it's a little misshapen, right? So like I know what that's like too, yeah, and like that's what I was thinking about, but like you said with the dental injuries, like relates the same. I will say for Anthony Smith, he has, like, the nicest pair of veneers I've ever seen. So, like, clearly he, like, recovered from that just fine. Yeah. But, fuck, dude, I don't know. Between those two. And then Dan Hooker is the is 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 up there and Shane Burgos. Yeah, so so Dan Hooker, that, man, that fight, I love Bro, that fight Bro, he got so his much. head knocked off his shoulders so many times but just stood there like a fucking zombie. He did. He did. Um, he kept coming. But he forward. also threw back. Like I thought, he fought the best fight back of all five of these people. He, no, exactly, exactly. And then, and then Burgos. See now, Burgos is like the tank I was describing. It's like he was the, the damage. Like quite literally, wasn't like appearing. He was eating 
piss missiles, as I like Dude. to say. And, and Josh Emmett's power was insane yeah, in that fight. And, and it was crazy because, like, he wasn't, like, cut – like, it, like, didn't – like, he could, could have gone to a photo shoot after a war. Like, it was crazy the uh, how, like – And one of the rounds was 10-8 that he ate so many shots. So it's like there's two ways to interpret this category of chin of the year. There's the Al- Alpar Anthony Smith, like, fighting through damage and pain – or just like a weird other worldly, like you're made out of vibranium and damage doesn't appear to you. Um, That's more the direction I went with it. The, I, I'm going, and this is live on the air. I didn't do previous research. The only category that, that that we're doing this way on the spot, I'm going Burgos. I went Burgos as well. Oh my and I watched, god! And I watch all these back. You know why? It's because Burgos can eat that shot. And then he does the Nate Diaz thing where he's like, you know that shot like literally fucked his brain up, but he looks up and he's like, throw him. And he like brings his hands up and you're like, what is wrong with you? Like it, like, it crosses he wasn't like psychopath dropping, level. He wasn't cutting. It wasn't like he just He was throwing hard shots that bad. back. Like, like it, just like the, the damage wasn't appearing. And it wasn't like it was like a straw weight women's fight or like, like I mean, Bur- like he was fighting Emmett, and Emmett was winging insane power punches from the hip, like and just crack landing as clean as you could land, and and Burgos just fucking fucking all right, like like, like was- dude, if if you saw that in the parking lot, you'd be scared because that guy wasn't going down, not because he's getting hit. You'd be scared because you'd be like. What is happening? Like, yeah, yeah so, like what drugs are keeping this man's brain on? No, and then like, and then there's like the thing like if you watch that in that action movie, you would be like rolling your eyes, like yeah, right, like, oh, I watch come UFC on. all the time, and, and that would drop somebody. Like, like, like it was insane the shots he was eating. So like I said, like I personally would rather have the tank that the missile bounces off of as opposed to the tank that keeps rolling after it explodes. Like, like, and like I feel like Andy True. Smith and Alpar. Where, like, their ability to fight through damage was just, like, like honestly, like, my brain had, like, trouble computing it. And, and then, um, you know, there was some – and then, like I said, Hooker, Hooker, Hooker was a close second probably. But, He's like the I closest said, to Burgos out of this whole list. Or, or Alatang. Because when Alatang I, when I think never dropped hooker, his defense on his face. True. And then, but I was like, when I think of the Hooker fight, I think of his offense in that fight. So it's Me like too. It's, it's hard big for, shots on or on uh, or, Poirier. On Poirier. So I, I, it's crazy. I lean Burgos. Like when, like it, when I was watching that Burgos fight back, because that that fight's in the fight of the year category. And when I was watching yeah. that back, I literally was like smiling, laughing, chuckling, jaw dropping, like. Like, it was, like, it didn't seem real. It was so amazing. It was so amazing. Now, like, and and we'll get into it real soon. But, like, there's some things that are going back a little bit in the the fight of the the year category. But uh, as far as chin of the year, I'm actually so glad you put that category because, like, that fight deserved something. And Burgos, I got, I'm giving Burgos chin of the year. That was just his ability to eat damage, not eat it. Not eat, actually not eat damage. Like, eat it without taking damage. It was weird and, like, otherworldly. That's a Beefy Boys Prime Cut award, by the way, for people at home. There's no other Chin of the Year award they give out from the other shows. So that one was ours originally. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you on that. 